Last week we didn't hear anything about the Tesla battery day, but what can that be and can the Tesla battery day be the Tesla's master plan for more affordable energy? Welcome back dear friends, this is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please take a moment, join our community, subscribe to our channel, look around our video section, maybe you find interesting things and if you like it, please subscribe and please like this video to show your support and appreciation of all the people that helped me to bring these stories to you. Tesla hasn't officially released a master plan part three, but we could present a pretend this is essentially what Tesla battery day is going to be Tesla's master plan for the near future. Sean Mitchell from All Things Electric Vehicle, All Things EV, believes that this will reveal a strategy for more affordable energy. He believes that Tesla on the battery day will reveal a strategy for more affordable energy and we get that, that signal from many places including uh, from the Reuters recent exclusive report that I reported at the Tork News YouTube channel that Tesla is coming up with this uh, million mile battery which is cobalt free which is less expensive which brings the cost of the battery below the parity level with uh, gas cars so the goal of the Tesla master plan the goal was to create a low volume car that would be ex um, expensive uh, I mean this was the first ros roster uh, the funds for from sales of that car would be used to develop develop a medium volume car at a lower price model s and model x this is talking about model s and model x and then the funds from those sales of the sales of model s and model x would go to create an affordable yet high volume tesla model 3 now part by the plan to this introduced both new technology and solar energy into tesla's long-term plan one idea was to create stunning solar roofs with seeming uh, seamlessly integrated battery storage while doing this tesla would continue to expand its electric vehicle product line to include all major areas such as pickup trucks semi trucks mini transit vehicles and the new and improved next generation roads while doing all of these things tesla planned to develop self-driving capability that is 10 times safer than average human driving it's doing this now through massive fleet learning and plans to give your car the ability to make money for you when you aren't using it Sean Mitchell has few ideas that he talks through in his video and I will post the link to that video in the description of this video. He thinks that this coming Tesla battery day will be a roadmap for what is in the future for Tesla's strategic planning. The first thing Sean predicts is that Tesla will announce that it has broken the 100 kilowatt hour price at the cell level. I believe this is going to happen as well. He also thinks that they might announce that they are increasing volume production to more than one terawatt hour. How could Tesla do this? One major way is to reduce the battery production costs they can presumably do this by removing wet electrodes from the production process tesla will continue to implement what it has acquired with maxwell hibar and cilion the question is how they are using and implementing their technology he also mentions that there could be other companies tesla has acquired or is working with that haven't been officially announced the next thing that Tesla might introduce is the ability to increase energy density and battery longevity, longevity through chemistry improvements. Sean notes that it's publicly known that Jeff Dunn published research about a 1 million mile battery. Sean also points out some keynotes about the Maxwell Dry Battery Electrode. It's a 16 time production capacity density increase with 10 to 20% or higher cost reduction compared to state of the art wet electrodes. Sean explains that even though there is very little known as to how Tesla will use Maxwell's technology, he has had some interesting conversations with few shareholders of Maxwell who later became Tesla shareholders. 
one person had direct communication with the executive team at Maxwell and has emphasized that this is significant technology. This technology was something that Tesla was able to accelerate and bring to fruition what Maxwell envisioned. Another important thing that Sean thinks that Tesla will announce on battery day is battery recycling for reuse of raw materials. Extracting these raw materials from the ground is costly. So recycling them, recycling old Tesla batteries or other batteries would definitely save money while doing right by our planet. He sur surmises that Tesla, co-founder and longtime CTO JB Straubel's company, Redwood Materials, could play a key part in this as well. Not much is known about Redwood Materials, but it is widely considered to be a battery recycling company. The final element to Sean's thoughts on Tesla's um, upcoming master plan or master plan part three is that he thinks Tesla will announce that it has greater control of the early stage supply chain. Remember, I've reported many times in that in different parts of the world, Tesla wants to localize the supply chain to bring the cost down. Now, having greater control on the supply chain, this would include the extraction of raw materials also and the processing of them, especially lithium, nickel, and cobalt. Sean also covers the project shortages around some of these, including lithium. But as we have learned from the Reuters' latest uh, exclusive story about the million mile Tesla battery, Battery. Apparently, in the future battery, Tesla will not use cobalt. Cobalt is very expensive and not using cobalt will bring the battery cost down. One of the last things Sean talks about at the RK Equity thing is that RK Equity thinks that Tesla could buy Lithium America due to existing Tesla ties. The company's Thacker Press is that largest known is 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 the largest known lithium resource in the United States. It could make sense for Tesla to have control over the extraction and production of raw materials on the North American continent. He also touches on um, Trump and the trade war with China. And uh, like I said, I will have the description of this video public uh, in the in the. I, I will have the link of this video in the description of of this video. I will have the link of Sean's video in the description of this video. Well, friends, let me know what you think about this development. What you think Tesla may unveil at the battery day? You know, we will. We have so far seen two main parts of Tesla strategic planning. You know, the Roadster and then the expensive cars and then the more affordable cars what will be the next plan that we will see tesla unveiling cheaper more affordable battery cheaper cheaper and more affordable um uh, technology huh cost effective cars let us know let's continue the discussion in this comment section below in the meantime this is armin harian from torquenews.com and i'm hoping that tesla will unveil will reveal a strategy for more affordable energy at the battery day we hope that the battery day will be at least online streamed on at the end of sometimes in june as tesla ceo elon musk had already uh, said and then maybe in person um, version of the battery day sometimes later at the end of the um, summer maybe huh and um, in the meantime like i said this is armin harayan please subscribe Subscribe to our channel for more news like this video to show your appreciation of Jonah who from right for Technica, the clean Technica. And I'll see you in our next report. Please stay safe. So we're going through some trying times. I hope you will stay safe in your families and take care of them. And uh, God bless you. And I'll see you in our next report, friend.